Hey there and welcome back to another Miraculous Ladybug Season 4 video. And unless you've been living under a rock for the last couple of months, you might remember that glorious moment in time where Spectrum somehow managed to pull a smooth brain move and accidentally released the first half of the Season 4 finale, The Last Attack of Shadow Moth, titled Risk. Which saw Shadow Moth decide that the only way for him to finally defeat Ladybug and Cat Noir was to make sure that Ladybug takes more risks and therefore makes more mistakes. And suffice to say, this was actually one of the best received episodes of the show ever, featuring some premium Marinette and Lila cringe, Felix's spy thriller turning into a horror as he finds his aunt frozen in the basement, Froggy singing his glorious Froggy song, almost 100% confirmation of the Senti Kids theory, and Adrian potentially about to stumble upon his dad's secret. Again. So obviously, coming into the second half of this finale, there's a lot that needs to be addressed. And at the same time, from when this episode got leaked to when we actually get to see the second half, a lot of time's gone off past. And as anybody who's ever used the internet ever should know, there's nothing that breeds wacky and out there theories more than a long gap between installments. It's like growing mold in a damp cellar. There's just no way to avoid it. And so I guess it's time for me to throw my hat in the ring and unleash some of my own theories surrounding what the hell is going on in the finale. Although hopefully mine are not too tinfoily and dank. So we'd better start by addressing what we know. We know that the heroes have to fight Strike Back, that giant senti monster thing. We know that Adrian's now gotten his hands on Felix's Spy Kids gadget that's going to give him access to Gabe's secret shrine slash Emily's crypt. We know that Lila and Felix, two of the most cunning and manipulative characters in the story, are together on a train. We know that Shadow Moth and the gang are going to have some sort of confrontation. We know that Ladybug's going to use the Bunny Miraculous. And we know that Felix is going to use the dog. Or at least it's another Adrian from a different timeline maybe, but that just seems stupid. And hell, I know there's probably even more stuff that's been revealed so far by trailers and images, but this is just the stuff that jumped out at me. And it seems to be among the more discussed topics. And so now from this, we can probably get a fair idea of what direction the episode's going to head in, in general terms. And obviously we know that Marinette's going to portal her way to Felix thinking it's Adrian. And since we see him later with the Dog Miraculous, she's probably going to give him that one to help fight the Senti Monster. And we also know that she'll need to then hand out the minor character Miraculouses, and then they fight the big bad. And honestly, this is realistically going to have to take up a fair chunk of the episode, because, you know, it's a pretty big and important villain. Imagine them taking it down in like five minutes. Be a bit of a joke. It is interesting though that she goes to fake Adrian to give him a dog miraculous. I mean, it was established in Penal Team that Sabrina's the holder for this one now, right? Is this some kind of repressed guilt thing because she realized the only time she's ever offered Adrian a miraculous in canon was the snake and he messed it up so badly that he was stuck in a time loop for what? Weeks? Months? So she gives him one of the less important ones as a sympathy. Oh, you tried your best. Is it because he said in Risk that he's not a hero like her, and so she decides to make him one in order to stand up against his father and bring him into arguably the most dangerous battle she's ever witnessed? And I mean, I know she's been powered up to take more risks, but Jesus, she's really throwing him in the deep end here, isn't she? And also, they have to find Froggy, and they have to stop him from singing that goddamn song, because it's stuck in my head. It's been weeks, and yet I'm still hearing it. And then on top of that, they actually need to go and confront Shadow Moth. Because could you imagine the uproar in a finale titled, The Last Attack of Shadow Moth? If they didn't actually face off with Shadow Moth, like don't get me wrong, it would be ridiculously funny. But I think it would also be such an epic fail that no writing team in the world could possibly be so stupid. Or could they? No, 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 they couldn't. But maybe? No, no, no. Anyway, a big prevalent theory I've seen talked about online is that this is it. This is the final confrontation. After this, Shadow Moth's finished. Done. Goodbye, Gabe. And the idea behind this, of course, is that the double episode title is The Last Attack of Shadow Moth. And thus, this implies that it is, in fact, The Last Attack of Shadow Moth. As in, they finish his ass off in this episode and find out it's Gabe and go... <gasps> could we never have suspected this? And honestly, I don't see this happening. I used to be a very strong believer in the fact that he would get his hands on the Miraculouses and make the wish 
purely for the purpose of bringing Emily back. But now that we know that it completely erases the current timeline, killing everyone and starting over wherever the Wisher wants it to, I honestly doubt they're ever actually going to pull that trigger without some sort of time reversal shenanigans. It could happen, but there will be no lasting consequences. And don't get me wrong, I still kind of think that Emily's going to come back somehow. I mean, if we have been sitting here for years, for four seasons, and she never comes back to life, just sits in her freezer forever, I am going to be unsatisfied. It surely has to happen one way or another. Just probably not via a wish. But beyond that, I still recognize that this does feel like the end of Gabe's line. After all, this season's been building to a crescendo in a way that none of the other seasons did. We've seen Gabe try new things and pull out his trusty sandpaper to smooth out his brain over and over again and get more and more erratic and upset with things that don't go his way. But you know, fair enough though. Some of his evil plans were actually legit good and are only defeatable because Marinette has insane luck sometimes. I'd be mad too. I mean, shit, sometimes he actually does win and he gets sent back through time so that he doesn't anymore. Poor dude can't catch a break. And the reason that I think this is not going to be the end of Gabe? Well, probably because there's just so much more to address with his storyline that it would be a little bit premature to finish the job just now. I think it's far more likely that this title is just a bit of a play on words and he loses one of his miraculouses, either to the heroes or to another villain screwing him over, probably Felix considering their little rivalry. But let's for a moment assume that Gabe does indeed take the owl at the end of this episode. How would this be done? Well, obviously, it would have to be a showdown between Ladybug and Cat Noir and Shadow Moth. After all, this story was always going to come down to them. But in this instance, simply based on his increased role in the latter half of the season with pretty key moments surrounding him, I think Felix would also kind of have to be involved, or at least waiting in the wings, ready for some shenanigans. Because if he does get defeated, he almost certainly won't just hand back the Miraculouses. There's still a season 5. They still need content for that, don't they? So that means either the butterfly, the peacock, or both must continue to live free of the box for a little while more. So if he does get defeated, which I doubt is the route they're going to take, at least the writers do have a failsafe for them to get out of this. After all, Gabe made those fakes that Felix swiped, so it's not out of the question for him to do some sleight of hand to swap out the fakes for the real ones, with Marinette being none the wiser, until it's too late. But for real though, I doubt that would even be the ending of the season. I mean, Asterix, who for some reason just loves dropping spoilers on Twitter, despite complaining loudly about spoilers on Twitter, has said that it won't be a heroic ending, meaning cliffhanger most likely. Ugh, a cliffhanger that we have to wait months to pick up from. Damn. But anyway, a cliffhanger and the title of The Last Attack of Shadow Moth indicates to me two things. One, we get the reveal here. Surely, surely Gabe reveals. Cat Noir and Ladybug, maybe they reveal, but Gabe surely is a certainty. Plus, surely a confession from Marinette at this point. Yes, Gabe reveals, Marinette confesses to Adrian, Adrian politely rejects her, awkward, and then Marinette incidentally finds out Cat Noir is Adrian. Reverse love square. It's time. No more teasing. Let's go. It's been built up so much. Let's just stop it. But then again, I could also see them just not doing any of that and just having Felix steal the peacock or something and then revealing the senti theory. After all, that's something that's also been teased very heavily this season, especially last episode. And the second thing it indicates to me is that no matter what, I think we really have come to the end of the line for Gabe. He surely finished. I mean, where the hell do you go with his character now? If they stick with him as the main villain all the way to the end of season 5, the show will truly go stale. And they've been investing time in building up new characters, so why not pull the trigger? Move on to the next phase. So yeah, either Gabe outright loses and Felix steals the Miraculous, reveals happen and we get a standoff to finish the season, or Gabe loses one of the Miraculouses and gets exposed leading into the opening of Season 5. I just don't see any other way to do it, whilst also maintaining that sense of it not being a heroic ending. On top of that, I kind of feel like Gabe still needs to be around as a villain for Season 5 for the whole initial arc. 
It would feel odd if they switched villains from Gabe to Lila and Felix with so much left unsaid. It's been constantly parroted that this story was meant to last five seasons. And you can't have the main villain suddenly lose with so much time left before the initial story arc ends. To me, I kind of think it looks like it's setting up Lila at the very least as the new Hawk Moth in the future. And I'll link my video here for when I break down the reasons why. But Gabe still kind of needs to be that primary antagonist for now, while we can set up Felix as a more permanent character in Paris, where he can do his own shenanigans with the Peacock Miraculous that he will inevitably get at some point. I just think it makes the most sense for him to have it, especially if the Senti Monster theory holds true. Even if only Adrian's one. They've got that connection, it just makes more sense. So yeah, I think it's much more likely that Gabe's going to lose one, and it falls into the hands of Felix, who decides whether he's going to keep it or give it to Lila in their inevitable alliance. But I'm thinking that Gabe's going to remain the primary villain, at least for the first few episodes of Season 5. Maybe even beyond that. But if they did go all the way to the end with Gabe, I feel like it would be really stale. And I mean, I guess another alternate ending, if they wanted to do a real hack job, they could just have the whole world go to shit, and then Ladybug saves the day with the bunny miraculous, reversing everything. But honestly, I don't think they could possibly think that time travel erasing all the bad consequences could possibly be a good idea. Could they? I mean, admittedly, it has happened before, and they seem to think that those episodes were good. But I think it's more likely that they'll use that one when they're fighting the Senti monster as it claps them hard. So yeah, in conclusion, I'm in two minds about the ending of season four, but honestly, I have to lean on it simply being a cliffhanger ending on Gabe's role into season five. Because ultimately, there is not enough time to wrap up his arc in a satisfying way in just 20 minutes. Especially after all the things we saw in Risk. There isn't enough time to go through all those different plot points. And so whilst, yes, this is the end of Shadow Moth, perhaps, I doubt it's the end of Gabe as a villain just yet. At least the opening episode or two of Season 5 should cover the rest, at minimum. At least that's what I'd do. But as always, these are just my opinions, and now I'd like to hear yours. What do you think's going to happen? Do you agree with my thoughts, or maybe you think there's something I've overlooked? I'm curious to hear what you think, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know.